Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out White Christmas by Demon Arisen. Merry Christmas, test subjects! That's right, I'm back with a festive, fun-filled, all-white chamber because Cave Johnson tells me he couldn't afford any more black moon rock from the dark side of the moon. Apparently that stuff's crazy expensive and he blew all my budget for this chamber on Christmas presents for Carolyn, including her brain uploaded to some sort of genetic lifeform and disc operating system. How sweet of him. Anyway, never mind Cave, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a fantastic new year. Because this chamber is all portable, there are bound to be many ways of solving it. I've tried my best to eliminate shortcuts, but some may remain. My intended solution will soon be uploaded to my YouTube channel and I will embed it here as well, so stay tuned for that. Looks like it's already been done. Alright, well, let's get started and see what we're in for. Is it this crazy looking? <laughs> I like the all-white chambers, but they are the hardest to make, and you don't see very many of them. And the ones that you do see are usually accidental, that have been made by, uh, less skilled map makers. Let's see... So this is our end goal, to have a laser coming out of a portal there. Interesting. And this glass is just here for decorative reasons, I guess. Alright, so, first things first, let's get into here. And this is where all the fun happens, huh? That's our laser cube. There we go. Now we have called the laser cube. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Oh, and the cube does not auto-respawn. Well, that's good to know. Oh, wow. That is quite... That is quite... A suicidal cube, isn't it? Yep, that cube is just gonna keep committing suicide no matter what. Alright, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I place the portal there, right? Yeah, okay. So I'll just have to grab it perfectly. There we go. Put you there, now you're safe. And then what else? There's a whole bunch of stuff here. What is, uh. What does this do? Oh, it disables this. Why, how, you know, how nice of you. What about that? Is there anything that disables that? Ah, yes, there is. The issue... Is being able to get up there... Actually... I think that's not an issue. Let's see. Put that guy there... Oh, yeah! Let's just come down here. Oh, now that's the issue. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing! Look at that! So, for those of you who don't understand what's going on there, in this game, it is very generous with your aim. And it will gladly re-angle the laser so that it'll m hit the mark there. But as soon as we break the beam, it stops re-angling the laser. And as you can see, it, uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work. But it's only because of the cube being where the laser would be re-angled. That is really cool. That would also be funny to abuse in a puzzle. Although I'm not sure how you would set it up, but that is that is fascinating to me. Yeah, so the issue is being able to get up there. All right, well, let's see what what else is, is here for me. All right, let's just do this. Cause there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here that I haven't even dealt with yet. Let's see what's up there. Oh, hello! Oh, there's one more guy there. There we go, that's all of them killed. What is this, a sizzler? What's the purpose of this little room here? Dear, I have a slight idea of what I might be required to do. 
and wait, but these are the same height. What was the point of that little room with the turrets? No, really, I don't understand what the turret room is about. Unless I want the angle here. I might want the angle. Maybe. But... But why? That's three blocks high at least, whereas there's only two blocks high there. I'm trying to think of a way to maybe fling myself or something, but... Huh. What would I use the laser cube for? There, perhaps. So if I do this... Then what? This? Launch ourselves up. I'm gonna save here. Ah, yes. We can use this. We can recall the cube and use the floor laser now. Cool. So the turrets were just fluff, I guess. Portal. about there ish. Should do the trick. Yep. And then, we can fizzle the cube. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation in a variety of ways. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!